Hi, everybody. Welcome to the, uh, f I think, fifth uh, ever Condor Matador stream. Uh, my name is Jerry, and I'm one of the two lead singers of Condor Matador, a Montreal-based pop rock group. Uh, we've got an album out called She Stole My Drink, which came out last Halloween. And we also have a single out called Patty Martin. And uh, you can hear us anywhere that you listen to music. So on Spotify, on Deezer, on Tidal, literally anywhere that you listen to music, you can find Condor Matador's music. Uh, so we hope that you check it out and that you enjoy it. Um, another thing that I would like to mention is you can buy our merch on Spreadshirt. So if you'd like to support the show, uh, support the band, support our future endeavors, you can buy our merch on Spreadshirt.com. You just need to search the Condor Matador store and you'll be able to find it. Or you can just find uh, a link to our merch website from our website, CondorMatador.com. So I uh, hope you get to check it out sometime. Uh, so today, uh, I thought maybe we could do uh, uh, another one of those splice uh, jams and just maybe try to write something around it. So I'm going to open up a new Logic session. Um, I'm going to just uh, make sure that it's panned over there and it's, it's not uh, recording me actively. Okay, and uh, so in the Logic session, I'm going to just actually have to change the screen there, move it over to the Logic session and done okay going into it so basically my friends i think i'm going to uh, hop right into it if you don't mind uh we're going to just uh, go into splice dive into our friend splice so for those of you who don't know uh splice is a software that is kind of like the netflix for music producers because you're able to find a whole lot of different samples on it uh, and these are royalty free samples so you don't have to worry about using them or anything, or getting in trouble for using these samples or clearing them or anything. Their very presence on Splice is an indicator of the fact that, you know what, you're able to use this stuff. So uh, it's very free. It's very liberating. You, you know, there's a limited library. You don't find a thousand different options for the things that you search. You probably find about 25. So that's okay. That's pretty good. You know, you find uh, stuff that are fun to play with. You can often make something quite interesting. And that's like uh, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to work with samples, build stuff using multiple samples. And uh, usually it's a bit easier to, to do uh, like a song that you already have and uh, to uh, drop samples into that. That usually is a little bit easier than what I'm doing here, which is like building up a little song based on samples. Uh, so... I'm going to do that. I'm going to build a little song based on samples. And uh, just because it is a challenging exercise and it is fun to try to make things work together. In the past, what I've done is uh, choose a beats per minute. So select uh, the tempo of the song. Then I ch choose a key at random and then look at uh, what I'm able to find using those parameters. Today, I think I'm going to go instead find a sample that I find inspiring. So. I'm just going to go listen to a bunch of samples on Splice. We're going to see if anything sounds particularly good. And uh, then we're going to start building up a song around that sample that I enjoyed. So what am I going to search for? Uh, why don't we... Let's find a good drum beat. How about that? And I'm going to let the good sample that we find dictate the things like beats per minute. Perhaps even key. You know, if we find something that has a key that we really like, uh, but we're going to start with the drums, okay? So <clears throat> it doesn't matter what uh, tempo it is. The tempo that uh, the, the beat, we're going to look for a good beat first. That's what we're going to do. Okay, um, so let's look for drums. There you go. I just clicked drums into the search bar, as you can tell. Uh, we don't have any parameters like anything. Just it's very, very open. Maybe let's, let's narrow it down by genre. What do you say? I think that would be uh, helpful. So we're going to narrow it down by genre. Do we have a pop rock genre? If not, what do we feel like working with today? Hmm. Cinematic, future house, garage, synth wave, experimental, deep dubstep, hard techno. Oof. That's one thing I enjoy about EDM is the genres. There are millions of genres. You know, that's uh, it's an interesting uh, aspect. I do enjoy EDM, don't, don't get me wrong, but it does make me laugh. The classification, it seems to geek out at a very, very high level. Uh, I say with affection for the genre itself. Okay, what are we looking at? I kind of want to go garage. Garage is what leapt up at me. 
Okay, let's do it. Okay, now let's listen to some stuff, baby. Okay. Okay, that's just one thing. Now we're going to keep on going. We're going to go select through these uh, pretty quick. Okay, let's just stare. Should we look for grooves specifically? That might be. That's pretty good. I like that. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna look for grooves, baby. Yeah, I like that. Okay, okay. What about the next one? The garage beat. That's exciting. See, that, that sounds like fun. I kind of want to just download it. Okay, just in case. We'll go in and see what we downloaded at the end. something in 140 today okay yeah i think we are okay why not I like that I like those two so i guess we're gonna work with that today okay so uh, no, we just go into here. I want to go see recently added. Okay, where do we have these in our enclosing folder? We're gonna go copy to our enclosing folder. I'm gonna open up both enclosing folders for these two files. I'm gonna go back into Twitch. I'm gonna okay switch the ca screen capture. Gonna go back to the logic view for you right there, and then I'm gonna go over there. I'm going to put these drums into there. This audio file contains tempo information. Always import. See, I just skipped a step. When you do that, it just makes the audio information do it for you. So it's uh, it's great. The audio information uh, allows uh, your DAW. Re it's recognized by your DAW. Uh, and then because it is a WAV file, WAV files can include uh, tempo information so then you click you can click it you click yes and then it goes it drops it in the grid changes automatically what you see here is the tempo information uh, so I'm just so pleased that's great I could you do that stuff all day long so let's go listen to that oh what if we do that you know those two samples like that why not you know like that's what i say you gotta just say why not these days i don't now i'm interested to see what we end up finding i'm gonna go back in a splice now but now we're going to be searching for bass you know let's go look for some bass ah Okay, no, I gotta go there, click there. Have we, uh, I'm sorry, I just wanna double check on, yeah, we're good, we're good. Double check on the Twitch app to make sure that Splice is the screen that I'm sharing right now. And now we've got a beats per minute. We're working with 140, okay? So this is fun. It's naturally narrowing itself down for us. Now we gotta listen to some stuff. We want some, maybe drum and bass, dirty dubstep. Let's see what we get. Ooh, come on, let's go find something else, okay? <laughs> Thank you. 
Now I'm finding a lot of stuff I like. <laughs> Oof, I couldn't wait for that to finish. It's really loud in my headphones too, that doesn't help. I turned it down now, let's see. That sounds, that one I actually kind of like. So I'm gonna go in closed folder and I'm just gonna go back to Twitch, gonna switch over to the Logic project and then go to the closed folder. Let's just see, just for fun, what that sounds like with what we've got there. That's interesting, it's glitchy and stuff, but I like that actually. Now how are we gonna do that? Oh, you see, that's clipping like crazy. Can you see that? Uh, no, you can't actually. It's just hidden. Uh, why don't I go to your the mixer? Now look at this. The mixer. There we go. Okay. Clipping like crazy. Now this is going to be good. I think that's fun. Um, okay, but we're still going to go into this place. I don't think that we can actually make that track right now. So we're going to repeat that a couple times. Let's do it four times, okay? Yeah. Streaming. I've got to switch that up now. There you go. There we go. Okay. You know, it's still learning how to do this streaming stuff, so we're getting better and better as we go along. Now let's go here. So, so you see something. <laughs> So that is um, in F major. So now we'll just uh, look for synth F major. that into uh, my little session there I'm going to uh, also okay we're back in the session let's hear that <laughs>
not sound like 140 to me. And I don't really find that that fits. So I'm going to go back into the splice viewer. But you know, you got to try stuff. It's always fun to try stuff. I like that crazy, like glitchy thing we've got going on. But that's only like, honestly, I'd probably need to find more stuff for that. But let's just, see. let's go do that then. Let's go look for things. Okay. Synth. What should we look at? Let's put lead. How about that? Lead. We don't need the bass there anymore. No sample. Okay. Genre grime. Okay, here we go. <laughs> sounds like no nope, that is a paste of the same thing once again gosh darn it okay that's okay though i can still get it so this is a sample again quite where we want it but i think it's i don't know i kind of like the weirdness so let's just go in i want to show a little bit of flex pitch work on this one so we're going to go into there So now what I'm doing is something called flex pitch. So this is something, some way to control the pitch of different notes specifically within like a given sample. And then uh, you can alter those notes very, very, uh, with a lot of precision. Uh, so that's an interesting thing to do. So I'm gonna put it on F major. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna select all the notes. So I pressed Command A to select all the notes. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, Set to perfect pitch. Okay, though we had to try it out to find out that it didn't work. So let's go into Splice yet again and let's go find something that works. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> we'll find something that fits. We'll find something that works. It's kind of a little bit chaotic though to find something that fits, but. <laughs>
uh, Twitch. June, October. Crazy piece of music. <laughs> Let's go hit to the start of that. You know what I could do is just only repeat. Only repeat these the sort of pattern where at the start I'd have these two different beats that I bring in and out for every uh, two bars. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just repeat this one pattern over and over again after that. So let's let's just listen to how that sounds. So see over here, you've got these samples that follow each other four times. It's the same sample together. Whereas over here you've got this sample that I'm repeating four times in a row here, being opening the track. Then moving over to the next sample, one below over here, uh, after two bars. After those two bars are done, you go back up to the initial sample, and then you drop down over here to this nice sample over here. So now let's listen to how that sounds. I think it might be cool. <laughs> Okay, now let's go uh, back into the splice. Let's go over here if we can hear something else. Why not? Let's do it like that. I know it's a bit wonky, but we'll fix that later. We'll just sort of like how that is. So what we're going to do is uh, just remove the loop there, and we'll just go find what the next piece of the puzzle is. be the next vibe repeat uh, let's do it three times let's have it at full four what do you say my friends let's do it let's live a little why not 
that section again so now listen to this part so I'm gonna go from the crazy glitchy stuff <laughs> seven times okay so then we'll have a total of eight we'll move this bad boy over a couple of bars move here and then uh, we're gonna make a nice seamless you know repetition there am i streaming yes i am streaming the right section excellent we're gonna repeat that one time now we're gonna go over here we're gonna hear how that sounds <laughs> Cool transition. Oh, I 
do, my friends. Yes, we will. Now let's just go over to Splice. There you are. There you are, sweet friends. Okay, in the Splice now. Okay, we're going to get bass. Iconic future bass now. Now, let's go back. I want to play that with the other stuff. So we're going to go back into Logix just so that you get to see a little bit of what's going on in my world when I put this together. You see, you just sometimes you just get a good feeling about a sound. Let's see if that paid off. Okay, let's go back just so you get, let's honestly, let's play it all the way through. So I'm going to want to transition the drums over here to the older drums. So call it there my dear friends so you have a great night and i hope you enjoyed the stream and uh, i'll talk to you next time all right take it easy bye <laughs>